Well, hello, Mr. G here, and we are going to do the second lesson related to momentum and impulse. This is the first topic for the grade 12, okay? Um, in the previous lesson, we learned the definition of momentum. So we learned that momentum is the product of a mass and velocity of an object, okay? It's a vector quantity, and it has the same direction as the velocity. It also... Um, is directly proportional to the mass of the object and is directly proportional to the velocity of the object. Okay, but the momentum is not constant. It's not always going to be constant. It can change because the velocity of the object may change in either a direction or it change in magnitude and the mass of the object also can change. Now you would say, but object don't change mass. Oh yes, if it's, let's say, a bottle of water which have to leak and is moving from one point to another uh, obvious the mass will decrease because the, the water is now getting away from the bottle. So the mass can also change of an object as it moves from, from one point to another and the velocity as well. And so does momentum change. So that is going to be uh, today's lesson. Changing momentum, we'll learn uh, about how to calculate the change in momentum and we're going to learn about how to represent graphically the relationship between change in momentum momentum, initial momentum, and final momentum. So watch the video and I'll see you at the end. Thank you. So in the previous lesson, we were talking about momentum. We defined momentum. We spoke about the a formula to calculate momentum and we saw an example. So let's quickly recall, and this is going to be very, um, very quick. Let's recall that momentum is the product Momentum, the symbol is P and is equal to the product of mass and velocity of an object. Momentum is, the symbol is the small letter P and the unit, the unit for momentum is the kilograms meters per second. So this is the unit for momentum. If you look here, you are multiplying mass, which is kilograms by velocity which is meters per second so that is the unit of momentum and just to recall is a vector and this is very important because we're going to be talking about that right now so as it is a vector it has magnitude and it has direction okay now today we're going to be speaking about change of momentum or change in momentum now we need to know that all changes in physics are final minus initial. And the symbol for change is the Greek letter uh, delta. So delta P, which means change in momentum, will be equal to final momentum minus initial momentum. So momentum can change because the object's mass a change of the object. They may change and the velocity of the object also can change. Okay, so the change in momentum is equal to final momentum minus initial momentum. Note that this symbol here means change. Change. We are talking now about momentum, but it's going to be the change of any physical quantity. It's always final minus initial. Okay, so now from here, using the formula and the definition of momentum, we can say that a change in momentum is equal to a mass multiplied by the final velocity minus mass multiplied by the initial velocity. If we substitute the uh, formula of momentum here, the definition of momentum. They are vector quantities, so this, let's use the right symbol, okay? As well as here. Let's, let's keep the correct symbol. Not to make mistake, even though in South Africa it is not a, a must, okay? But we are there. So, now if we apply a little bit of mathematics here, we have that the change in momentum is equal to, it's a vector, is equal to mass is a common factor because we are talking about a single object. So, mass that multiply the uh, difference of final velocity minus initial velocity so this is what we have right now and if we if we apply what we said about change in momentum this here which is final minus initial will be change in 
velocity. Therefore, we can reduce this formula as following. Change in momentum is equal to mass multiplied by the change in velocity. Note the following. These are not different formulas because a common question of learners is which of all the formulas must I use? I am applying the same formula. The same formula which in actual fact is this one here, is the change in a momentum. Okay, I just substituting the actual definition of momentum I'm working with method. All of them is the same formula. So this is all we speaking about change in a momentum. Now, this one can be represented graphically using vectors because we are working with vector uh, with vectors and uh, physical quantities. Okay, so we're going to see how and that one might be a little bit uh, tricky. So let's go to the first formula we just mentioned, which is change in momentum is equal to final momentum minus initial momentum. Now, in physics, a vector subscription is the same as adding a negative vector. So this here is the same as if you say change in momentum is equal to final momentum plus minus initial momentum. So this thing here is exactly the same. All right? So it's exactly the same mathematically speaking. So now, if we say this, what is a negative vector? Now note, all this was done in previous grade, né? All this was done in grade, in grade 10. So a negative vector is a vector that is in the opposite direction to the actual direction. For example, if the initial momentum is to the right, the negative vector will be to the left. So, for example, let's say this vector here is initial momentum of any object minus initial momentum will be the same vector pointing in the opposite direction. And you need to know that the change in momentum is the addition of the final and this vector which is in the opposite direction as the initial one. So let's, let's first of all look at one example and then we are going to um, do the drawing which may be a, or the graphical representation which may be a little bit tricky for you all. Okay, so we're going to be looking at this example. The example says a ball of mass 250 grams is thrown towards a wall. If the wall is uh, moving with a velocity of 5 meters per second towards the wall, if the bounce straight by with a velocity of 3 meters per second, calculate the change in momentum and draw a vector diagram that doesn't need to be at scale to illustrate the relationship between the initial the final and the change in momentum. Okay, so first of all, we are going to calculate the change in momentum. Note the data we have is the mass of the ball is 250 grams. The initial velocity is five meters per second towards the ball, uh, towards the wall, and the final is five meters per second away from the wall. And that is very important, okay? So let's, as we did in the previous lesson, we are going to go to data, data, the mass is equal to 250 grams. We cannot work in grams, it must be in kilograms. So this is going to be equal to 0, 0,25 kilograms. The initial velocity is going to be equal to, um, it was 5 meters per second per second towards the wall. I'm not going to write it right now. And the final velocity is going to be equal to three meters per second away from the wall. So before we carry on, we are going to select what direction is positive and which direction is, is negative. We have towards the wall and we have away from the wall. So let's write towards as positive. This is a very important step. So towards is going to be positive. Please write it down whenever you're solving this type of question. Write it down. Write towards positive or away positive. Note is 
up to you which direction you want to take as positive or negative okay so the initial is toward therefore it's going to be a positive and i'm going to write a positive at the front that means towards and the final is away and therefore i'm going to write a negative because that means that is moving away from the wall now in this question they are asking us to calculate the change in momentum and i'm going to put it here as question mark so what formula are we going to use that is quite simple it is the change in momentum change in momentum is equal to mass that multiply the final velocity minus the initial velocity that is the formula for change in momentum or how we can calculate the change in momentum remember the direction is quite important we are going to substitute all the values here and we have the change in momentum is equal to the mesh which is 0 comma 25 bracket final momentum is negative so it's minus 3 minus initial is positive so I don't have to write the bracket minus 5 and when you solve this one it's a simple a mathematical calculation there you will get that the answer is negative 2 kilograms meters per second so the answer is negative what it means negative negative mean that is um, away from the wall because toward is positive therefore negative mean away from the wall so the final answer it could be done like that but let's be safe and let's rather write change in momentum is equal to two kilograms meters per second away from the wall so this is the final answer for this very uh, this simple equation okay that is the final answer. now let's represent graphically the vector diagram for initial momentum final momentum and um, change in momentum now let's recall first of all the change in momentum is equal to final momentum plus minus initial momentum okay let's recall that one because we are going to be using this one okay so now what we have let's say for instance we have a ball and a wall that represented a drawing let's do a small drawing okay we have a ball that is moving towards the wall so the initial momentum which is equal to five kilogram uh, sorry five meter per second the velocity is moving towards the right let's say this is the initial momentum of the ball we don't know the value it is not being done at scale they don't say do it at scale so we don't have to calculate it that is the initial momentum of the ball so the initial momentum is towards there we go this is let's say the initial momentum it is towards it's in that direction so what will negative uh, change in momentum be minus initial change in momentum mi minus initial momentum sorry no change minus initial momentum will be the same vector but pointing in the opposite direction this is minus initial change in momentum okay and we say the change in momentum must be the addition the vector addition of the final mine by plus the uh, negative initial okay so now here the change in momentum is slightly smaller than that one but also away from the wall in other words is this direction here this is the final momentum so if we use the method we learned previously which is called um, tail to head or head to tail what we have to do is we have to um, draw one vector which i'm going to do it um, here let's say we're going to draw the um, um, initial negative initial A little bit too long it's around four let's keep the same direction this one is minus initial momentum if we add here right on the tail or right on the head it doesn't really matter the order we place here the final momentum here is the final momentum then the change in momentum the change in momentum will be the vector from the tail of the first one to the head of the last one this is what we call change in 
momentum guys it's not really that difficult there's other options to do it there's other ways to do it but let's keep with this one if at school or any other tutor any other teacher show you a different way that you find easier you're welcome to do it the result would be the same note important this here is the minus change in minus momentum sorry is not a, a momentum initial momentum so this is all for now. This is the second lesson in, in terms of changing momentum. It's not that difficult. I hope you understand. Please, if you need any help or you don't understand something, you can ask and I will make an special video for you whoever don't understand any of this lesson. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for the channel. I'll see you next time. Okay, so you did just watch the video. Uh, I hope you understand in this video, also very short, we'll learn how to calculate the change in momentum. It's very important later on, we'll learn about the theorem that have to do with the change in momentum. Very, very easy. So please remember this one and try to uh, do some notes, take notes of the, of the lesson. Okay, um, I hope you understand. It's very, very easy. Next time we're going to do a Newton's law in terms of momentum is very important as well for the grade 12. Um, so don't miss up the, the video. Subscribe, thumb up. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Mr. G here.